All right, so next thing for the Silver Cummins um, for today is to get the remainder of the old plow mount harness. I think it's a plow mount. I mean, it's a two wheel drive truck, so I can't imagine plowing snow with it, but that's what it looks like is some kind of brackets on the front of the frame. So we're gonna get those out of the way to see how bad the rust is on the front frame horns, which will help us decide whether we're gonna spend any more time on this truck to try and get it safety or whether it's just gonna become a parts truck, probably a part out. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna try and get this bracket undone here. And of course, it's definitely not gonna be easy because that would just be uneventful and not exciting, so. Let's just see if this one will move first of all, I guess. And the nut's turning, of course. And you can't get a wrench on the nut to hold it. So, you know, good times. Exactly the kind of situation I was hoping for. <coughs> well, this of course the one nut here, is smaller. This one here will be easier. Why to... is the nut smaller? Right. Yeah. Oh, you took the extension off? Yeah, you shouldn't need it. <laughs> uh, other way. Try that. Now it's gonna be this way. Easy, easy. Okay, try. I think this just slipped. Hold on, yeah, this just slipped off of here. Stupid thing. What a terrible design. I don't know how you're supposed to get friggin'. Well, it's been rusted. We should probably spray some thread unlocker or whatever. I don't you know how it. you're supposed to get the or hold the nut from turning. What if we switch it so that the socket's holding that end? You can't, the Won't fit. fan shroud's in the way. Yeah. Um, what about that one? Well, it'd be easy if I can get the wrench on the top side of it. can't see it all over there, but somewhere here there should be. Okay, you're on it. Just gotta get it to sit in. So rotate the feature. Yeah. Rotate that a little bit to try and get well, easy, easy. Let me get it on here. I think you're on now. And it doesn't feel like it. Try it gently. <coughs> okay. Good start. Oh my goodness, okay. You need yeah. a breaker bar? Something with more torque? Yeah, I just don't want to break this fan shroud either. Um, hmm. I was not expecting them to be that tight. Or hard to loosen rather, I guess. Especially because it feels like it's loose. Well, the bolts are loose to rotate, but you can't get them to turn. Um, is there room on that side to get this wrench on that bolt on the top? Yes. So. And is there something steel for it to go against? That ain't That's steel. not steel, nope. Either that or we gotta hold it. There's this. And I don't I can't see. Is that the front of this part? It's uh it's like a frame rail that holds the bumper on. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's better to do uh, air impact gun instead of breaker bar. That should hold. Give it a try. I should have got the bar first. Oh, it wants to turn. Okay, let it go. It's not gonna stay there. All right, let's go. Let's okay, so we're gonna try an impact gun here. We're gonna use this chrome socket, which you're not supposed to do, so don't do that at home. You're supposed to use an impact socket. But I don't want to go get the impact set right now, so. Um, you want me to hold the top one? 
that's not going to work. It's got to be on your side because it's got to go into something. Well, there's not there's nothing to put it into. I got plastic on my side, so it's going to have to be held. But here, you run this, then I guess, and I'll try and hold that. Don't pull the trigger. Please, like a freaking ton. Yep. And it's still not that powerful. So I can't get it. I have no idea if this thing's gonna like twist my wrist off or not. Mm, you're gonna have to hold it fairly well, but it's not. What the hell? Can you reach up there and see? Maybe that's right. Just bump it. It's gotta. Just bump the trigger. <coughs> I can't tell at all if it's on or not. It's on there. There we go. Okay, hold on a second here. You're gonna turn that way, so I need to hold it this way. Also, you should probably wear proper safety glasses when you do yep, this. Yep, I should be wearing glasses. Okay, try it. Pull out if you're gonna do it, yeah. Try again. Okay, I don't think it's doing anything. No, no, it is, because it's looser than it was, so okay. try again. pinching my flesh here as I'm trying to hold the stupid thing. Are you sure it's moved? <sighs> Looks to be <laughs> the same as it was I before. No, maybe. I can't. I thought I thought that was looser. But I don't know. I think it's just sending rust everywhere. Could be. So what you're running well, like? My impact gun isn't very powerful, so. It's just sending us yeah, you stupid piece of crap. I hate bolts. What about the battery one? That one might give you more oomph. I can't imagine. I don't think it's gonna touch it. Alright, so we got a absolutely massive electric impact driver here. Uh, that should be Yeah, try and get it on all the way first. There you go. Just push, you gotta push up with one hand too, somewhat. Oh. Be a lot easier if I was on my right side. Oh yeah. Give it a try. Keep going. Try again. It's not doing anything either. Try again. No, okay, never mind. So, that is absolutely ridiculous. So there's no way that it should be that stuck. It's not even rusty. <sighs> okay, well. Do we have um, lubricant we can We can, but lubricant doesn't really do anything unless you can get it to move a little bit. Um, then of course you're gonna have stuff dripping on, on you while you're trying to. Well, we could try this one. I, I, I can't get on that one is the problem. Because the freaking thing is too close to the we need God, to get got a lot of rust on it. We need to get this one undone so that the thing will move back. Well, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Why is that? Because the bolt is right here, right on the bumper. I can't even see the top one. Will the thing move back more? Nope. What a pain in the ass. So we've given up on uh, trying to undo the bolts. I don't know why they're so difficult to loosen, but we're just gonna try and cut off the bottom of each of them, which will let us take the bottom bracket off at least, whether we can get the top one out or not, that's a separate issue. But right now we just wanna be able to get to the bottom of the frame rails to see how bad the rod is. So let's get ourselves positioned down there and we'll give this a try. Probably shouldn't be under this when this hot bolt falls and lands on me. Not a good idea. Oh. The muscle cramps are real.
just okay. occurred to me we probably shouldn't have the brake clean or the sparks are going. Um, it's explosive, but I don't know if it's flammable. I don't really want to find out. You sure? <laughs> I think it would be exciting. Not for you. You're <laughs> right by it. So this is what we wanted to be able to inspect a little more closely. It is, uh, I guess it's not, at least I can't push it with my finger, I can't, can't push right through, but definitely not what you want to see. And there's some, uh, as I get myself over here, uh, there's some on the inside of the rail there as well same place that the blue truck is gone so just a question of whether that's safety worthy or not and if it's not we're either looking at trying to cut and weld in a new piece of frame or we just say forget it with this project and use it as a parts truck for the other ones this side oh this side's actually Pretty good, I think, still. There's actually no... I guess it's just barely starting right there. And the rest of it's got some surface rust, but I don't think it's rotted through. This one's got more oil on the inside of it to protect it, so I don't know, maybe it's still salvageable even if we have to do a little patch on this side we can cut out part of the stabilizer bar mount is the problem because it's rotted right there as well but we can cut out a chunk of this and weld in a new chunk or if the shop says that it's okay as it is we'll probably just cut a little hole in the bottom of each side because what happens is this area fills with sand and salt and water and there's no friggin drain hole for any of that to be able to get away. So that's why it rots. So again, poor design. All comes back to terrible designs, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not, not as bad as I was thinking. I guess this side's got a fair bit, but it always seems to be the steering box side. But luckily the steering box mounting portion of the frame, I think is still in really great shape because it's been covered in oil. So that, that was the problem on the blue truck as well. So, 
Not bad. The only challenge now still is we have no way of getting the rest of these brackets off of the truck without taking the whole front end apart, taking the rad support off, and then you can lift them off. So maybe they're just going to stay there for right now. And uh, in the future, we'll either pull apart the front end to remove the brackets, um, or if it's not going to go on the road, we probably won't bother. So. Yeah, I don't think, I think I might be able to get the... I can't show it when I'm doing it, but I might be able to get these front... If I can get my hand in there, it would be good. There's one. Those ones are a little shorter. And that one would go if it wasn't for the washer fluid reservoir and that one is blocked by the fan shroud so basically we're stuck this one as well i might be able to get oh okay that's good bolt big ass washer all right so i was able to get the shortest of them out the rest are just going to stay there for now i think Actually, this one might be able to... This one can come out. Yeah, there's that one. And then this one is completely wedged. But the whole bracket will come out. Ta-da! So that's the right side is all out and cleared. The left side, I just can't get... Can't get to to do it. If the washer fluid jug was out of the way, it might be okay, but... There's not enough... Not enough movement to get it free. Anywho... So that'll about wrap it up for this one. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this part of that endeavor. We can see how bad the frame rust is now. So as soon as we can, we'll probably get it in for a pre-safety and just ask them, you know, would you pass this if you saw it? If they right away say no, then it's like, okay, well, we're either gonna fix it or we're gonna just keep this as a side parts project truck for messing around with. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, drop a comment, maybe a suggestion as to how we could repair that one frame horn if that's what we end up doing. Any recommendations would be great. I had to do a repair on the blue truck when I put a new steering box on it in that same area. So I'm familiar with those. It's just a matter of what the easiest and fastest approach to repairing it is. So yeah, don't forget to uh, check out the website and the Instagram channel and Twitter as well and we'll see you guys on the next one yeah you can see the the uh, handles for those on the end screen that will start right now yeah.